I'd seen these being made. Um, I had no idea um, what they were about, what they were for. Um, and then, of course, I found out that they was being made purposely for the homeless. And, uh, yeah, I was just thrilled. I was ecstatic. Before, I used to live at uh, Catford. Due to loss of relative, I had uh, circumstance change. And my two daughters to come and live with me as uh, the, the, the last person remaining to care for them. Uh, definitely, they are first impression and what I heard from, from them is that uh, they are feeling better than where we used to live before. But we've been lucky and from where we moved to up to here, uh, the condition has been accept very good, very good. Very good. That gives us a more uh, uh, a different vision for the future as well. Time Bank is a skill swaps. Um, exchange where people trade their skills with each other to build a community of people that are kind of uh, more resilient and more sustainable. We wanted a space that was visible and would attract people to come in and to um, be energized to do other, to do more. So really place to do well. In a way we wanted to be an incubator for new ideas, for new projects. They started what was originally the Juniors and Foundation back in 2009 um, and the aim was to help communities, was work with communities in particular with young people. In a year's time we want this place to be the sort of community hub that everybody recognises as. You know, yeah, it's a nice place to be as well, it's sort of not, not dark and miserable. I mean, I've had some jobs where you're sort of stuck in a room for hours and hours but floor to wall, floor to ceiling windows and it's bright. There's a lot of people to talk to, there's a lot of interest in people to talk to. Yeah, it's cool. I start from Brockley, my old house. After six months living in there, I started having damps. I went to the doctors. They gave my, both of them, my, they were 14 and 9 the age. They gave them asthma pumps because my oldest one, she was going secondary that time. And when she was doing PE, after five, ten minutes, she was breathless and my youngest one had eczema, back of her feet, um, these parts. But after we left that place, she was fine. And now she doesn't take nothing. No asthma pumps, no eczema creams, nothing. My husband says, uh, I hope these flats stays and we'll be there permanent. <laughs> I've been looking for an office or somewhere to escape my abode for almost a year. I do child pickups, so it had to be somewhere really convenient. I turn up here four, four days a week. I really like it. It's kind of, it's quite an, an eclectic mixture of people. This is soon to be my shop Thunder and Lightning, um, which is going to be a little retail shop selling um, vintage clothes. I like the whole cooperative working together kind of thing. It, I think it's less scary uh, opening a shop with like lots of like-minded people. And it's great there's like quite a lot, everyone's doing something different. There's someone doing uh, plus size ladies clothing, there's a florist, a dressmaker, um, there's someone doing like homemade like skincare and someone's doing fabric. When we came in, actually, my second one didn't want to sleep at all. <laughs> he was so excited about the place and the balcony. You know, usually you have houses with balcony, but not that huge. Because it's very spacious and then, gosh, he didn't even want to sleep. The next day he was like, he woke up around 5 o'clock in the morning. I was like, seriously? <laughs> Five o'clock. Say, mommy, I need to. T I need to check everything. Like, I need to check everything. You know, when you are from outside, you can't even imagine whatever is inside. You think, oh, this must be a small place like, again. But when you come in, you're like, oh my god! Like, I put all my stuff in, and there's still some more space to pack or something else. So like, keep like, okay, shall I buy some other things to, like put in the house? But it's so spacious, like. The way it is, they have, the kids have space to like 
if they want to play, they can play here, they can go in the, ba in the bedroom and play, they can be in, in, the, in the other day, play. When I was a child, when I was growing up, it was, a, it was a huge thing, you know, the community coming together, you know, the street where I, I lived, everybody got on, everybody spoke to each other, everybody said good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And for me, growing up, it's all gone. Like, there's n there is n none of that anymore. There's no being together as a community. So it'd be so nice if doing places like this brings that back. If they built more of these and done more things like that with the shops and the features at the bottom, it has the potential to bring communities together, you know, and, and make bigger, better communities.